Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, since no one cares to ask Megan how she's doing or if she's okay, let's take this opportunity to see how she's doing now after the news has broken out that Harry has been named. He's not implicated. He's not going to be charged with anything. But his name is the only royal name in the P. Diddy Diddle um scandal let's call it so i'm going to use the bohemian fortune telling cards and the mercury's fortune telling cards and we're going to do somewhat of a challenge i'm going to put how is megan feeling on top and i'm going to put how is harry feeling on the bottom and see how their energies mix all right so without further ado how is megan feeling is she okay i mean <laughs> What is going on with, with Sean Combs and all of that is an absolute tragedy. I'm, I don't want to make light of it in any way, shape, or form. But considering uh, the way they've ripped the royal family apart, um, man, that karma, she can be a real, real witch. <laughs> How's Megzy feeling? How's Megan feeling now that Harry has been? I mean, she's just trying to launch this new dog shampoo, this new candle that smells like dog or something like that. It smells like a yoga mat. <laughs> I don't know. She's just, I think she's all over the map. I mean, I, one of the first rules of business is niche down, niche down. And uh, she's got a scatter gun there. And uh, she's going to hit us all with all her classy, great taste stuff. I see she's starting to rebound herself, um, calling herself regal or something instead of royal. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Cards are ready. Death. Oh, my goodness. Illness? Oh, she's not going to come out with an illness, is she? Hope? Love? House? She's going to double down. Letter? We saw these were, these are all twisted. Visit in reverse. Visit in reverse. What's the underlying? Constancy. Well, that, isn't that funny? I just talked about that she, there's anything she's not is consistent she is all over the map she's relaunching 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 um all right so let's see what's going on with harry she's gonna stand by her man she's gonna stand by her man um i think don't don't be shocked if something happens to her or Harry and all of a sudden they've also um, are sick um, she is getting she's being investigated or something she doesn't like somebody who's come for a visit an official person has come for a visit to where she lives she's going to come and be the uh, quintessential daughter-in-law and sister-in-law and uh Filled with hope and love and she may be trying to come in the UK for a visit. Let's see. How's Harry doing? Okay, Harry. Okay, Harry. How's how are things going with Harold? How are things going? And I know his name is Harry, and I know Her it doesn't come from Harold, but that's the name he or Megan, whoever you think wrote the book, said in the book. That was an interesting cut, just a couple. Longing. Oh, he wants to just go home. Child in reverse. Illness. Haughtiness. So pride. Pride cometh before the fall. Vexation. Is he starting to realize his, it's not love, it's vexation? Message, interesting letter and message. Clergyman, well, to me, that's the palace. That's the palace. That's the firm gift in reverse, visit in reverse. What's his underlying? Jealousy in reverse. 
There he is, too, the red-headed boy with jealousy. Okay, Megan's going to double down. She's going to double down on this, and she's going to be the um, beloved daughter-in-law um, of, you know, caring for her father-in-law and her sister-in-law, and everything's all love, and... Um, uh, we might hear something that she's that she's decided uh, to come for a visit. The visit is in re in reverse. Um, I think Harry here. I think Harry actually is in touch with the palace. Here's the message and the clergyman. To me, that would to me that's the the courtiers and the powers that be. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he is praying to God that he gets out of this mess. Uh, he's willing to return something. He's willing to return something. He Look at this longing here. He's longing to return to a time before his vexation. So you can almost look like this child card with this haughtiness card. A returning to his past. I don't think this has anything to do with his children per se. I think it's returning. There's so many things he wishes he would have done differently. And I think he's starting to realize this vexation on this love that it's not love. It is the Medusa. Look at the snake. And the vexation on the love. Um, interesting. Neither one of them have any kind of couple cards. They have love, but like I say, love can be for your family, for your country, for something you love personally, maybe yourself. Um, but I don't have the marriage card here. I don't have the reunion card here. Um, I don't have any kind of courtship cards or couple cards or lover cards, sweetheart cards, that kind of thing. Um, I think here... Interesting, the clergyman is also reading something and this letter card is also reading something. I think um, I think I honestly think he's going to return something. Um, interesting, the message here and the clergyman has his back has his back. Um, this haughtiness and this hope. I'm, I think Megan's going to double down. I honestly do about how much she cares and, um, because she's so inconsistent, right? One minute she hates you, next minute she loves you. If it can benefit her, if it can benefit her. Um, interesting. We have death and illness and hope. And love, and I think, um, I almost feel like that's a deflection. That's her security. That's her security. That's her deflection. She's not, like, she's not really upset about this news at all. She might be getting a knock on the door. They may have found some kind of evidence. They may have found some kind of evidence in the house that she gets a knock on the door about um, and that could be what Harry is warning the the um, the the firm about. I think that's what it is. I think with this longing child haughtiness, I think haughtiness is also pride. It's the peacock. It's it's a lot of pride, thinking you're better than than people, other people. You know, I bet he wishes he could take back some of the things about Andrew. Maybe he's realizing like what they did to Andrew. Um, I did that reading that the palace knew this was coming and that was part of the reason why they were degra de degraded on the royal website. So when this hits, they can say, oh no, he's not a working royal, it has nothing to do with us. Um, and I think there's something here, regrets, big, big regrets that he wishes he could go back in time and change a few things about but he has sent something over to the palace. Um, uh, almost, I'm almost getting a feeling like he's volunteering, giving it up for some reason. Um, this jealousy in reverse 
is that's very typical Harry. Uh, jealous about his brother, jealous about his brother's wife, jealous about his nephew who bumped him down a few. Um, uh, I, I just always get this vibe. He's always jealous of what everybody else has, jealous of other people's success. Um, I think, I wonder if now he's jealous that the that his grandmother isn't around to deal with this because I think she would have been a lot easier on him than what's coming. Something is coming back. And in that other reading I did, the King of Cups, re something is returned. Something is coming back. Um, so whatever this gift is, is this titles? Was this titles gifted to him that are, are being returned? Um, something. He is definitely in huge regret. Huge regret. And he's starting to believe that this vexation and this love, I, this is interesting. I just noticed that this vexation and this heart almost match the same color, kind of a, a brownie gold color that uh, he feels like there was some kind of spell cast on him. Interesting. We're talking so much about that lately. Um, yeah, she's going to double down. She's going to be, she's going to be starting. You're going to see all kinds of puff pieces at, uh, um, you know, how much she cares. Should she come and visit? You know, she'd like to help and, you know, bake a casserole and do the laundry and right. <laughs> but I think they're going to find some kind of evidence in that house and she's going to get a visit from somebody she really doesn't want to see. Um, I'm wondering, and I'm wondering if that's what Harry is letting the palace know. Something is coming. Something is coming. I think he's starting to realize what's going on, especially the more she pushes. I'm, you know, I'm the beloved daughter-in-law and I'm going to be looking after you. And, um, yeah, yeah. You watch, she's going to double down. I told you she wants to be the Instagram mom, the Instagram daughter-in-law, the Instagram sister-in-law, Instagram mom. And Harry is like, what the hell did I do? I could turn back time. I wonder if he has notified the palace he wants a divorce. I wonder. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs>